Speaking freedom. Speaking freedom. Giving you the answers to be free. Be free. Be free. Because we're speaking freedom. So this will be a part of the video series that I post today. Of the videos that I made yesterday. It is 7 a.m. I am up. So we go from. I was up. I sometimes I. Well. In most cases. I always go back and listen to things that I have recorded. Especially after I post. Um, because. A lot of times I got to go. And when I'm looking, look, looking through the scroll, uh, when I'm doing rounds for the scroll, as I'm looking, doing the rounds, sometimes, um, especially in the last couple of years, it's been worse. But even before I had the surgery in 2016, um, things could, could happen. I could post something. Oh, excuse me. And when I post, most times, honestly, I post and I don't be thinking about shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be thinking about whatever it is I'm posting. I make the series of posts and then I go do the rounds. But when I go do the rounds, I have to go back and listen to what I've said or look at what I posted so I can see where the keywords and such connect. Because sometimes I'd be like, what the fuck is they talking about? And it be in relation to something I post. And if I am not cautious, I will get snappy and snippy and get them be about to get them flip the fuck out, <laughs> especially in recent years. Um, as soon as somebody say something, but if I look at what I posted and I, this is the reason why at first, a long time ago, when I first started, I used to always have to go back and look at everything that I posted because I could have posted something that made you respond like that. But if I am, if I posted it and forget, I posted something or forget, I said something, then I be going on throughout my day and I don't be thinking about that. And then people come and try to sub me back. 10 hours later or goddamn five hours later, you come hours and hours and hours later trying to do something so that I could see whatever you was trying to relate back the message to me. And then I'd be goddamn lost because I didn't forget what the fuck I didn't say it because I didn't move on like the shit that I'd be talking about. This is why a lot of ideals I kind of don't remember all the time. Because the shit that I be talking about, when I be talking about it, that's how I be, you know what I'm saying? That's in that moment. But once I leave and talk about it, it's like once I do a dump um, of information, once I, okay, everybody that listens to this saves files, whether it's music files, whether it's um, picture files, files are saved. And especially if you use a um, SIM card, not a SIM card, a memory card or something to um, store information until you transfer that information to your main uh, hard drive. And then once you transfer information to your main hard drive, normally people tend to transfer the information and delete. They wipe out, they format, whatever it is, the memory source uh, that they were using to get the information so that they could put it on their hard drive. After you put it on your hard drive, you erase it. It's like, okay, so once I say some shit on Insta or on this new private uh, public privacy page, this is what this Facebook page is. Agape is the public privacy page. Um, so... After I say whatever it is that I'm saying, I got down, be moan on about my business, doing something else, thinking something else. I have released that thought. And now I've gone on and up still be got down four hours later trying to catch up on some shit that I said. And I be forgot that I said it and I be got down ready to get. I don't be ready to be offended, but depending on what it is that I said, 
may have a certain type of response from whoever is trying to convey a message or use a keyword to to correspond. Um, this goes back to the structure. Everything that Speaking Freedom does is a structured environment. And it seems crazy because it's like, how do you have structure um, amongst the amnesty of everything that's going on? And when I say amongst the amnesty that's going on, because everything is hitting for real, for real. Like, we ain't hiding, but it's hitting. Um, and I say it's hitting because... Most people don't know how to find this page. Most people haven't given it, been given specifically the information. Like, okay, I kind of was letting the cat out the bag before my nephew went to jail because it's my duty as an auntie to show my nephew what God is doing through me um, so that he can trust me enough to follow um, my lead on some things so that if I tell him something, he can believe it. So if I, you know what I'm saying? So that, because a lot of times, depending on how mature you are, of course, it's 7.28, so I'm yawning now. I'm ready to go back to bed. I've been up since like five, so. Depending on how mature you are, it um, sets the tone on the mindset that you have and how you move. Like for me, honestly, I feel like if my grandmother would have told me the type of work that she did in the community, I probably would have moved different. I probably wouldn't have been as feisty or in trouble in situations where I didn't have to be in trouble. If she would have told me the type of pull, the type of connections that she had, then I could have handled things differently. Now, this can go two ways because there are some people that's like, well, I know that my people got pulled, so I'm going to just take advantage and break the law and do even more bad shit because I know that my person um, or my people, my family can pull some strings and get me out of trouble if need be. Now, I wasn't, I don't try to do anything that makes people feel like I'm going to get you, I'm going to bail you out of trouble if you get into crazy ass shit. Like, I'm not with that shit. Live right so I don't have to use my um, network for bullshit. Um, so, you know, I've started posting so that my nephew could see what his auntie be into, you know, and... I let the cat out the bag a little bit just to expose my nephew to truth because my nephew been in jail for like, man, since he was like 15, 16 years old. So for him to get out, um, I think he had like 14 or 15 years total. He did probably about um, close to 10 or eight and a half. He, you know what I'm saying? He did a large amount of time away. And before he went away, you know, there were things that happened within our family dynamic that where people act like I am not all that I am. You know what I'm saying? They try to minimize the shit that I see, the dreams that I have, and how I damn am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't let people slide with shit. So, because of some things that have gone on in our family dynamic, I feel like it's best for me to show my nephew um, how auntie moves, how auntie works, what auntie do. And, um, hopefully that that will show him that he can do something different too. Now, of course he's back in jail now. So I'm not on my Facebook page as much now because like everything that I was posting on there was really for him. Um, so that we could be interacting so that we could communicate so he could see how I get down and you know what I'm saying? The things that I'm into. And it's so sad because I wish he was home, but he's not currently uh, out here. Help him as much as possible. But sometimes people, one, like I told us in another video, you got to, um, some, pe some people have to learn the hard way. But other times people need a change of environment, a change of scenery, and a change of peers. Um, because if you are in a certain environment, you kind of are thrust into certain situations nonetheless so people be damn so this is a structured environment people be trying to you know what i'm saying figure out what we got going on how we doing it and everybody don't know because everybody ain't supposed to know 
Um, now, a long time ago, I unfollowed a lot of people on Facebook. I was unfollowing people and unfriending people and um, turning people on mute because a lot of people was damn, they don't fuck with me. But then as soon as something going on, or they see me post a certain thing, like I could post, a, if I posted Xavier was in a movie, my phone would start ringing. Like, y'all wasn't calling me before I posted this. Don't call me now to try to figure out what's going on. Or if I post something related to my guy, because the situation and how things are with me and my guy, a lot of things that we have to do, we have to do it discreetly. So when we do things discreetly, and people can connect the dots when we allow the dots to be seen, to be connected. Because me and my guy, uh, me, we have no problem connecting the dots that people don't see. Because we communicate um, normally, regularly, um, in the way that we can communicate based on the circumstances of everything that is going on. <laughs> and I can't really say much about it because of the sensitivity of what's going on. So um, people be trying to figure out what me and him be talking about. And it's cool if you know and you, you know what I'm saying, cool about it. And you don't be trying to be extra. But a lot of people are not cool about it. A lot of people be extra. A lot of people trying to get in where they fit in and they don't fit in over here. For real, for real. Uh, I mean, people can sit with us, but just because you sit with us don't make you one of us. It don't make you comfortable. It don't make you cool. It don't make you all the things that we are naturally. Um, that doesn't mean that that's going to be you. So um, I had to make a lot of changes to some of the things. But then also, um, after my surgeries, I kind of regressed. Like, do you know how much it takes to heal do you know how much it takes to kind of get back into your regular one, two? And it's different from me than like somebody like Ryan. Big guy, he got a whole family surrounding him. He got everybody there to help him get back into motion. Super too, because she went through some medical issues that made her forget some things. And sometimes that shit is like, it changes you. It changes the way you act. It changes the way you talk. It changes the way you see. It ain't changed the way you... Uh, think, but it also changes the people around you. Sometimes it exposes you to more truth because the blinders that you had up before, you don't have them anymore. And now you are seeing things tr through truth of not being in whatever fog you was in. It's like an uh, abusive relationship. And I was telling somebody this the other day. People that are in manipulative, abusive, user slash leech relationships most people that are the receiving party do not know that they are in those relationships until they get out of the relationship because while you in it you can't see what's going on around it it's like um being in a obs observatory this i call what i do a human um observatory because i'm observing a lot of shit and i am um figuring out how those things that I'm observing affect the human culture, not the human, not black culture, not hip hop culture, but us as humans, how do the things that I've observed relate to, um, help humans relate to each other. And, you know, like, so <laughs> when you observe, is a little different from being in it. You can be in it and not realize the shit that you in. You can be in it and not see the things that's going on around you. But if you get an observant view, if you get your God view on where you can see everything going on, it's like um, being in a amusement park versus getting an aerial view of what goes on in the amusement park. When you in it, you don't see how many people are around, how many things are going on around you, how many things are going on that's beyond your um, ability to see, your sight, your view. But when you get the observatory view, the observation view, the aerial view, like when people have security cameras of a view that's different from when you stand in there. Like if you um, have security camera, 
you know that it's observing you from a different perspective. Like the doorbell ring is the 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 full on um, in the moment perspective. But when you have security cameras over top of your ring doorbell, like um, I got the ring doorbell. So that means if somebody come on my porch, I automatically see them. If somebody walk past my house, I automatically. If somebody drives down my street, I see every car that drive down my street. I set up my ring to where it hits, it comes on, it pops on every time somebody rides down my street. Even if they walk across the street, it comes on. You know why? So that everything, if something ever was to happen, Everything on my block get caught, get seen. And every it's a lot of people that got cameras. Um, but my ring sees a view like if I'm opening the front door, that's the view that it's in. But most of my security cameras see over top of the ring. It's an ob observatory view. So that means that the ring see you up close and personal. But my other camera, it shows everything that's going on around the area. So the ring see when a person walk past the door, the doorway entryway thing, um, the way my porch is made, it sees everything that goes past it. But my security camera sees everything in the area. So it's a different type of view. And when you have the, um, when you view from that different perspective, it gives you a different type of insight. So I had to change how people were able to tap into what I was doing because people was trying to be, you know what I'm saying, in the mix or trying to figure out what was going on or trying to, they was just being weird. So I stopped a lot of shit, but the structure of everything that's going on is to where we're able to communicate openly but the way we openly communicate does not negate privacy because um, I can say my guy all day. Uh, I call a lot of people my guy, um, but my guy, the person that I'm speaking of when I'm saying it, is very specific because I said something recently that, that was very specific about my guy and I used that particular phrase. So my guy becomes a key word it, within a, a, the next couple of days span. Now, I might say something about my guy next time and be like my husband. So that means for the next week, everything that I say about my husband, I'm still talking about my guy. I'm just using a different narrative because people be so goddamn nosy. Um, so the structure that we have created is where we are able to communicate openly, publicly, and still have a great deal of privacy um, on many levels with many people. And um, so I don't even remember why I started doing this video or what I was um, talking about. I was really about to pray and smoke and just kind of, um, it's early. I really want to go back to sleep. So if I pray, if I smoke while I'm praying or pray and then smoke or whatever combination, then I can um, relax and lay back down. I really don't even remember what the first parts of this video was <laughs> or what I was saying. I know that I was talking about structure and um, how things are done and the importance thereof. Um, but yeah, it, this is not a pointless video. This video is going to be helpful for someone, especially because I talked about structure in another video that I'm posting later on. I talked about um, healing. I talked about um, mental health awareness. I talked about really loving yourself um, and the things that people really need to hear in this time because there's a lot of hogwash going on. And right now in 2020, 2020 has been a, a, a year of sight and insight. And people may not realize what 2020 is doing and the type of vision that 2020 is allowing things um, to expose, be exposed. But people are, are learning the truth about a lot of things. They are seeing things more clear than ever. And for that, personally, I'm thankful. I'm glad that um, a lot of things are unfolding and being exposed right now because that means that moving forward, we'll know how to move um, properly. We'll know how to make the correct adjustments to get to where we need to be, to where we want to be, and being happy within what it is that God has created 
for us in this world that we live in. So um, I think this is it. I can't, again, I do not remember where we started at with this video because I've talked about a lot in this little time frame and I'm kind of distracted at the moment. Anyways, um, I cannot wait to upload the videos that will be below this. This No, the videos that will be above this um, because this is a part of the video series. I might make this the first video as an intro. Um, but I might not. So we'll just kind of wait and see. Speaking Freedom presents Good Head Group providing advanced spiritual studies and personal developmental insight. Brought to you by Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We look forward to helping you grow in all the areas of your life. We hope that you find all the information needed for your growth. God bless. Please listen to all disclaimers provided. If you are currently under physician's care, please maintain that relationship. This is not intended to stop your current treatment plan. If you need physician care, please seek out medical attention. Please note, all results are based on the individual's ability to adapt and adjust to any given environment and situation. We are not responsible for your results at Speaking Freedom. The life enhancement coaches at Speaking Freedom provide information to help you grow. You are responsible for maintaining that growth, taking on and then applying the information to your individual life as you deem needed and necessary. This may contain and explain explicit content. Please use parental discretion. For best results, you will need an open mind, the ability to research and a balanced lifestyle. Please join us daily for your inspiration and motivation. We have the entire world to offer you at your fingertips. Your life enhancement coaching specialist. Thank you for choosing us to assist you in accomplishing your personal and professional goals. And have a beautiful day. In love, we trust. This is brought to you by Good Head Group, Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We thank God for you and we love you. Hi, I'm Casey. Dr. Casey, to be exact, owner of Speaking Freedom LLC, Love Gang, and Good Head Group LLC. I am also a certified life coach and host of Speaking Freedom Radio and TV. Although I have recently became an ordained minister, please be aware that I am still me, raw and uncut the way God made me and allowed life to shape me. I pray and expect God to use me for people who can receive the way I communicate, as well as my delivery. I am not for those who are already saved, religious, or super deep. I am for the leaders, hustlers, and street influencers around the world, including pimps, killers, drug dealers, and working girls. I am sharing my experiences and perspective to help someone be inspired to be better. And for those who can identify with the various aspects of my mindset. My mindset alone does not determine the status of any active connections or current relationships that have not already been specifically addressed. Additionally, these recordings should not be taken personally if I have not already spoken to you about the topic or expressed that I have an issue. These recordings are a part of my life's work to document my experience, perspective, and to see how life has shaped me. My plan in using my stories publicly and socially is to encourage growth in those who can identify with the experiences and find inspiration in my life to heal and overcome the path that they've been set on, no matter what they face as according to the purpose of their soul until healing takes place. Despite the experiences that I may have had with any person, sometimes known and unknown, I hold no grudges, no no hate, no bitterness, or any other ill feelings against anyone. I pray that your life is whole and very fruitful. I forgive you as I hope that you forgive me if I have wronged you or anyone that you know or anyone who listens to me. 
I pray that you have peace and extend the same grace to others. I have love for everyone, especially on a human level, despite flaws or experiences. But that doesn't mean that I will associate or be close to every human that I know or meet. I've experienced a very eventful life and truly believe that my mindset and story based on experiences could help those who identify with how I think and are looking for inspiration to grow further, go beyond hurt, and be great. I pray that these recordings bless you and your soul in every way and whatever way God has intended. Sending love and light to all. Thanks for listening. Achieve your dreams.